Nitrogen leaching from grazed pasture into waterways is a big issue in New Zealand, with urine excreted by cows the main source of nitrogen loss. CRV Ambreed has made a genetic discovery which the company believes will reduce leaching on our farms by up to 20% within 20 years. CRV Ambreed is a dairy genetics business. We progeny test bulls, sell semen to the dairy industry, to dairy farmers in New Zealand and export some semen as well. So the genetics is our main business, but farm information products through herd testing and herd recording is also a very important part of the business. We have about 26% of the semen business and around about 8 to 10% of herd testing and herd recording. So what is happening to the grass that's consumed by the cow, and specifically that nitrogen content of the grass, is what is of real interest to us in this project. So the cow eats approximately four and a half to 5,000 kilograms of dry matter a year. That's about 20 to 23% protein on average. So she's eating around about 1,000 kilograms of protein. And the nitrogen content of that protein is about 16%. So the average cow in round figures is eating about 160 kilograms of nitrogen a year. And it's what is happening to that nitrogen that is really interesting to us in this project. That nitrogen can be used in five ways. It can be used for milk production, milk protein. It can be used for muscle growth, the protein in muscle. It can be excreted as dung. It can be excreted as urine and urine. Or it may be excreted in gases, those being ammonia and nitrous oxide predominantly. We've identified bulls that will reduce the concentration of milk urea and nitrogen in the milk of their daughters. We expect that those daughters will also excrete less nitrogen in the urine. And if they excrete less nitrogen in the urine, then nitrogen leached will be reduced by, through genetic means. The significance of this is, for a start, we're convinced that we can reduce mercury and nitrogen concentration. If the relationships hold up and that work to verify that is still to be done, then we can reduce in the first round of just using bulls available this year we will reduce the amount of nitrogen excreted by about three and a half kilograms per cow and in turn reduce leaching because there's less nitrogen being peed out onto the ground by between eight and ten percent according to the modeling. So potentially this is very significant even in this early stage and over time as we breed bulls that have lower and lower mercury and nitrogen genetics and their daughters get better and better, we, can be we believe we can get out to 20% reduction in nitrogen leaching due to genetic means. The sires that are available this year for low mercury and nitrogen are also good for other traits including the indexes like BW. So while we give away a little bit for overall index, compared to the potential value of this reduced leaching, it is a very small compromise to make. Our work to date has given a very interesting outcome, and it's a, this is a world first in the analysis, and that is we're finding a favourable relationship between low mercury and nitrogen and high 
percent protein in the milk. This is extremely interesting. It's indicating that different genetics are partitioning that nitrogen differently. And this favourable link is low mercury and nitrogen, and we believe low leaching, and higher percent protein, indicating that cows are using that nitrogen more efficiently. That step has to be proven and is going to be an expensive and very important piece of research. It's going to involve a partnership involving ourselves, but importantly, other New Zealand researchers, including Dairy NZ, Ag Research, Lincoln University, and Fonterra. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.